name is Matt LaCroix. I'm the marketing manager for Massey Ferguson Hay Equipment. And if you haven't met the best silage cutter balers in the market, let me introduce you to the RB series. First, we're going to look at our RB4180V. This is a 4x6 silage cutter baler. It is a variable chamber, so you can make a smaller bell down to 33 inches or all the way up to 6 feet. This also comes in a 4160V, which is a 4x5 version. These balers come standard with 17 knives. You can run all 17 knives, 8 knives, 9 knives, or 0. It has a Hydroflex floor to stop any blockages before they occur. If for some reason the blockages do occur while you're out in the field, you always have a drop floor to rely on. You can actually unplug the blockage without getting out of the cab. Loading mesh into your RB series is really easy. We have a convenient ladder that folds down. You can hop up onto the platform. A storage roll goes here and under the side shield here. We'll show that in a minute. But to load the mesh, all you have to do is flip your mesh over in there. Now let's go up here and see how the mesh system works. So you have your mesh in the holder cradle. You flip it over into its working position. You route your mesh through these bars and you go across this foam roller here. This foam roller may look like you're gonna take it to a kid's pool, but actually it has a very good use and what it does is spreads the mesh evenly across the entire bell width. Now that we've loaded our mesh, the ladder folds back easily onto your platform. And since safety is always key, remember, your tailgate shutoff valve is here. We have it in the lock position now, so it will not open and close before you unlock it. Since we're in this area, we'll talk about the split gearbox here. The split gearbox is original design to us, and what it does is evenly transfers the power from your PTO to each side of the baler. Therefore, you're equally driven on both sides. The pickup on the RB series is very heavy duty. Let me show you some key features that makes this a really great pickup. So you have a wind guard roller here, helps keep that crop mat compressed as you're going along the windrow. We've got offset teeth on the ends. Now you may ask, why do we have offset teeth? The reason being is we have these augers back here. These augers are gonna move the crop over because the pickup is wider than the bell chamber. So it's gonna move the crop over. So the, these teeth are offset so it constantly feeds that auger instead of waiting till the next set of teeth comes in. And from this angle, you can see the front of our rotor. These are silage cutter round balers so that means the rotor is going to spin and pull crop across the knives. Now when we look at service in a little bit, we'll get to see a better view of the knives. So once you've loaded your mesh up front, you need to put some tension on that mesh so it doesn't freewheel. You can use this handle here. And you have two different lobes depending on what size mesh you load into it. Since these balers are four feet wide, you can use a 48 inch or a 52 inch. These balers hold three rolls of mesh, two storage, one being used. Two very unique features of our RB series is protection of your knives when they're engaged. Also, the Hydroflex floor and the drop floor. Our knives are controlled by hydraulics. They're hydraulically controlled up and they're hydraulically protected if you come across an obstruction such as a rock in the field. As you're going through the field, your wind row may not be perfect even all the way across. So you'll have different amounts of crop coming into your pickup. That's why we have the Hydroflex floor. This floor moves up and down as the wind row density changes throughout the field. Now, if you ever do come across an obstruction that cannot fit through there and it gets plugged, don't worry, no need to get out of the cab. From the monitor in the cab, you can automatically lower the floor. What will happen is the knives will disengage themselves, the floor will come down, you re-engage your PTO, the material that is lodged will go into the bell chamber, then you raise the floor back up, re-engage your knives, and away you go. All of us have had to dig hay out of a chamber that's plugged in August and it's super hot. This will keep that from happening. Now I have the tailgate locked out. Always make sure, safety first, you lock out your tailgate before you service your knives or any part of your bell chamber. As you can see here, we have four endless belts for positive traction. Now let's look into the knives. These bellers come standard with 17 knives. You can engage zero knives, eight knives, nine knives, or 17. Now if you want a different combination other than those, you'd have to come back here and manually remove the knives. Now, if for some reason you want to keep the knives out always, you can get these optional blanks to put in there. Let me show you how the process is done. To remove your knives, slide this back, and there's a holder on the front and back as you can see. 
it holds in the front and the rear and there's a magnet that holds it in, lined up for you. And to put a blank in, it goes in this way. This goes on your front bar. And once you get on that bar, it slides in place. The RB series comes with 17 serrated knives. And since these are serrated, if you do need to sharpen them, you do that from the backside only. And I would suggest go ahead and get ordering 17 more knives so you can keep a fresh set with you at all times. And there is storage on the side of the baler for that. This is the knife locking handle. Here it is in the lock position. And then we move it to the unlock position to remove the knives. When you look at the back of the baler here, you may see these circles and wonder what those circles are for. When you actually are using these balers in the field, you run the tailgate and float. And the reason we run the tailgate and float is as the bell grows, that tailgate sinks down, as you can see, and it moves down. And that keeps constant tension on the springs on the side. To keep your chains lubricated, we have a reservoir here, a pump down here, and it automatically pumps oil into your lines. We have a combination of brushes and pads on your chains to keep them lubricated and running smoothly. To make sure your mesh is applied effectively, we have a powered mesh roller. So what this does, it powers the mesh into the chamber to get it started quickly and effectively. While we're here, we can also look at our mesh tensioning system. There's a couple of changes you can make in here to make your mesh tighter or looser depending on your needs. Now that I've shown you all the great features on the 4160V and 4180V, I'm going to turn you over to my colleague Dane and he'll show you a lot of great features on the new Kotec Baylor Wrapper Combo. Thanks Matt. My name is Dane Mosel and I'm the Marketing Product Specialist for Massey Ferguson and Heston by Massey Ferguson. And today I'm going to talk about the RB4160 ProTech. The 4160 ProTech has the identical parts to it as a standard 4160 the pickup, the bail chamber, and the net wrap system. What makes it a ProTec is the chassis and the bail wrapper system back here. Once the chamber has made and wrapped the bail, the transfer table takes nine seconds to transfer the bail from the bail chamber to the wrapping table. After that, the film rolls will wrap the bail as it goes around on the table that also rotates about the axis of the bail. Since this baler weighs over 14,000 pounds, it comes standard with a heavy duty chassis, high flotation tires, and onboard brakes. These here are our film storage rolls. There are six on either side, giving us a total storage of 12, plus the two that are already on the wrapping table. For easy loading and unloading, these rolls tip out to be able to slide and off, on and off of the tube. Here on the side of the baler is an option for when we only want to use the table as an accumulator instead of using the ring wrapping as well. So this valve has two positions of either up for accumulator only or down for the wrapping table to operate. On the side of the baler is a multi-pad which controls all the functions of the wrapping table, including the tailgate, transfer table, wrapping table, wrapping ring speed, and wrapping ring height, as well as the film knife. To operate each one of these functions, Press, each, press the selected button and then either the plus or the minus. The wrapping ring only goes in one direction, so therefore only the plus will operate it. The RB4160 ProTech has several safety features to keep the operator safe, including three automatic stop knobs, one on either side and one in the cab, as well as near the wrapping rolls. To access the wrapping ring, we must push the safety bar down, which actuates a valve, which guarantees that the wrapping ring will not move while we are near it. One of the unique features to the RB4160 ProTech is its ability to automatically adjust the ring height and table height to the size of bale for the optimal wrapping. If we were ever at an angle while needing to wrap a bale, the side plates come out on the transfer table to prevent the bale from falling off the wrapping table. Standard on the 4160 ProTech is a rear mounted camera so that the operator can see the bale being wrapped at all times. Since these bales can weigh between 1200 and 2600 pounds, we have thought of three effective ways to transition the bales from the wrapping table to the ground. The first being the tipper option, which orients the bales in a vertical position so that they can easily be grabbed with a squeeze. 
The second option is a bale mat, which allows the bale to roll off of the table and onto the ground when you are in heavy stubble crops that can puncture the film. The third option is to just allow the bales to gently roll off of the table and onto the ground. When it comes to film, the RB4160 Protec has all your bases covered, from the standard 750 millimeter film or the 500 millimeter film. We can also do three different pre-stretches depending on what your film manufacturer recommends. Now that Dan and I have gone through a lot of the great features of the RB4100 series, solo balers and Protec balers, you can learn more information from your local Massey Ferguson dealer or MasseyFerguson.us.